Have you ever wanted to film an interview in front of a beautiful view, but struggle with balancing the light between your subject and the bright window? Well, in this video, I'll walk you through a recent setup and the process we use to balance a backlit scene. The main challenge when filming towards a window is balancing the light inside the room with the brightness of outside. Now, you have a few options to try to lower the intensity of the light coming from the window, but they're not always practical or affordable, especially when working on a tight budget. One option is to apply ND gels to the window. Now, traveling with a large amount of gel isn't really feasible. You can also use an ND net between the subject and the window, which works great and is travel friendly. Those nets come in different ND strength, but I found that using a single net like my three quarter stop is much better than the double net needed for more ND strength. However, because I'm shooting such a wide frame, I would have needed a 15 by six or 15 by seven foot net to cover the entire back wall, plus the frame to hold the net and the stand. So I'm not quite sure that I would have made it fit into this small room. This is in Seattle and the weather can be a little bit unpredictable. If the sky is cloudy, it will quickly turn to pure white and balancing the exposure becomes nearly impossible. The position of the sun also adds a challenge. Around noon, it begins blasting through the window with direct sunlight. Ideally, we would have filmed this closer to the golden hour when the sun is low and soft, but we had four interviews to capture, so we had to shoot all the interviews in the morning. In a perfect world, the sky would have been blue with a few white puffy clouds and the sun behind the building. Well, we weren't that lucky. Clouds came in as soon as we start setting up. The other challenge with cloudy sky is inconsistency. If the sky is partly cloudy, the exposure can fluctuate between overexposed and underexposed as the sun peeks through the clouds. While an auto variable ND filter can help maintain our exposure, it's not ideal. Consistency is key and thankfully the clouds didn't vary much all morning. The first step is to expose for the uncontrollable. In this case, the light coming through the window. We used a circular polarizer to reduce the sky highlights. And I just kept turning it until we used the full strength of the polarizer. Looking at the waveform, you can see how much highlights are being pushed down. When you're operating at the very edge of the dynamic range, any little help makes a big difference. The polarizer gave us about an extra two stops. So now while looking at the false color on our monitor, we adjusted our camera settings so that the sky was exposed just under peaking or with a small area slightly above. We really needed to be on the edge of peaking just so that we have the room as bright as it possibly can be. Now once the camera settings are dialed in, we didn't touch them again. Now you can see how much light we actually need in order to balance this scene. Again, we don't want to adjust our camera settings or the sky will be completely blown out. We now want to just add lights until we have the correct levels. And in order to do that, we use the Aperture 600X as our main key light. So it's pushing a bunch of levels onto our subject. And we looked at our false color monitor and raised the intensity of that light. Unfortunately, by the time we got to 100% intensity, we realized that our subject was still underexposed. So we brought the light as close to the subject as possible before the light start looking too artificial. And then we added an extra panel. You can see it right here. And it got us close enough where I felt like we had enough level that I could correct it in post-production and raise everything up. On the fill side, we actually use a silver bounce. We didn't have any more lights available to us, so the bounce was perfect to capture some of that key light and then bounce it right off onto our subject to help control the contrast. Using the 600X in full power just made the person's face very contrasty. And so by adding that little extra push, we were able to control our ratio Looking at our EL zone system, we can see that the contrast ratio is anywhere between four to one and six to one, depending on the person's skin tone. Next, we use the Emiran 200X to blast as much light as we could onto those shadows in the background to raise all those levels. So this is all those lights that you see here, 
all over this back wall on this plant on this picture and it's nice because it's not flat like it's not the same level as the other corner so you kind of go from darker to a little brighter and then back to dark and so it's creating some depth through some of those shadows the downside is we created this very harsh shadow right there under the table and there is nothing we could really do there was no place for us to put that stand where it wasn't in the shot or at the wrong angle for us to hit this uh, the background so that's one of those that you just have to compromise and, and live with the last thing we did was add a backlight and that's just creating a little bit of separation on his shoulder on the back of his head just to separate the subject from the background now I'm sure you noticed that we can see the reflection of our key light in the window. We were fortunate enough that it blended nicely into the sky's highlight. For the following interviews, we were able to add a stand right here with a crossbar and we hung a black piece of cloth like a neg and that helped us remove the reflection completely. As always, when working on the road on corporate films with a limited budget, it's always a balancing act of compromising to get the best possible results. But I was pretty happy with the end product. We were able to get enough level inside the room to balance the outside light. So remember, always expose for the uncontrollable and adjust your lighting to get the levels you need. Now I hope this video was helpful and feel free to share your setup and experiences when filming backlit scenes. Now thank you for watching this video until the end and as a token of my appreciation I'd like to offer you my free camera setting cheat sheet. Just follow the link below to download the free cheat sheet. Thanks again and happy filming.